Hermes Gasparini versus Levan Saganashvili for the number one super heavyweight arm wrestler in the world on the right arm. The score is 2 pins to 0. Hermes Gasparini seems to have the most perfect setup till now. This setup is awesome. Hermes has everything. The match stops in the center. The match stops in the center. Hermes has stopped Levan in the center. Nope. Levan gains, gains hand control once again. Nope. Cannot finish. Cannot finish. Still cannot finish. Still cannot finish. Four surges. Five surges. Hermes brings him back. Levan still cannot finish. Levan is struggling. Levan is shaking. Hermes is say, saying, come on. Hermes is calling Levan out. Hermes is going for the flop press. Hermes is going to take this round. Hermes going, Gasparini is going to take him. Hermes Gasparini is going to pin Levan. Wow. Levan is struggling. Nope. Wow, the match has stopped. Hermes just cannot get behind his shoulder. If he gets behind his shoulder, it is over. Hermes is trying to elbow foul or something. Levan takes it, man. Elbow foul on Hermes. L Levan completely flopped Hermes Gasparini's wrist. Levan had everything. Still cannot finish Hermes Gasparini. Levan still cannot finish Hermes Gasparini. Wow. Goosebumps. I have literally, I am telling you, I have literally never had goosebumps watching an arm wrestling match. I don't get them that easily. Watching an arm wrestling match. Literally never had that. Maybe watching a motivational video, but <laughs> never while watching an arm wrestling, live arm wrestling match. Goosebumps. Levan is breathing heavy. Why did Levan Saganashvili quit? Is Hermes Gasparini the real winner? There are many questions arising after the amazing Levan Saganashvili versus Hermes Gasparini super match. We will try to discuss both sides of views. Like, why was it wrong for Levan to quit? Why was it right for Levan to quit? And we'll try to find a medium ground in that. So first of all, it is now a fact that Levan Saganashvili is no longer the person who has not lost a single round. Hermes Gasparini beat him in two rounds. So the official score is four pins to two. Levan is still one true king. Nobody can beat Levan yet, but he is not that person who is untouchable. He went from literally being unbeatable to a person who can now be beaten. Hermes Gasparini has shown the path to people and now they will start the climb. It is always like one person needs to show the that, that a thing can be done, the popular 4 minute mile thing. Nobody ran it, but once a person ran it the same year, many others did. So now Hermes has shown the level. Maybe it is not that big of a gap. Because if Hermes can stop Levan like this, he's a top roller. Let's be honest. Hermes Gasparini is a top roller and his wrist gets completely flopped. Levan has full cup, full top roll. He's using his full body weight. Levan is literally in this position, an inch from the pad. And he cannot finish Hermes Gasparini. And Hermes was bringing him back. Then Levan elbow fouled twice. One was intentional. And then he didn't return to the table. So that's the situation now. Everyone knows that the, the situation, the level. Now Jerry wants that match. He's thinking if Hermes can do that, I can do that all day long. I'm not sure if Jerry can do that, but, but he must be thinking. Devon is also rethinking about the match. There are many others. Levan is still probably going to flop everyone's wrist. Just like he did to Hermes. But those people who believe they can fight like that, now maybe they think they have a shot. So coming back to the quitting topic, what are the reasons? As I've already said, Levan is the clear winner. Four pins to two. There is absolutely no question that Levan did not win this match. Many people are saying that it is a fighting sport, it is a combat sport, and if you quit, you're not the real winner. But no, that's not what the score says. The score says four pins to two. Yes, Levan is your winner. And... He did not do anything illegal. Levan was 100% perfectly within the rules all the times. Yes, he intentionally dragged his elbow to avoid getting pinned by Hermes maybe two times, at least one time in this match, at least one time where he knew he is about to get pinned and he dragged his elbow back. But that is perfectly within the rules. Everyone does that. And quitting would not have been brought up if it weren't for Levan's oath that he's not going to lose a single round. Why are we furious against what Levan did? Because it seems like 
just to protect that oath of course it is it cannot be protected because he lost two rounds but not to get pinned he did that he did not compete not to get pinned that is the main point so what are the reasons i don't think it is the alone reason however i do think this is one of the reasons the second reason is he was having difficulty in breathing but he was sitting at on his chair he got his oxygen he wasn't looking like someone who is about to die like vitali lalatin was versus dave chafee was much way way more worse than that levan was able to talk first of all if you are breathing that much heavier that you you are you feel like passing out you cannot talk at that moment levan was easily able to talk he wasn't even breathing that much heavy his breath looked under control he just quit he did not quit until he had two fouls in the fourth round after that when he had no other option left and it was almost time when he got pinned for the first time that's when he decided not to go back to the table so that is one of the reason to avoid getting pinned i don't think even levan can deny that the other reason was he was genuinely feeling helpless he couldn't really breathe maybe it was not visible but yes for sure he had some breathing problems if he had similar amount of problems when the score was 3-0 had would he would he have returned to the table i think he would have that's my guess but there are both reasons levan did not do anything emotional here he did everything professionally and the professional thing to do was to win the match first he won the match he secured the match and even if there was a 5% chance of having some heart problems or breathing problems or passing out during the match he avoided that professional athlete move nothing wrong against that is it going to discredit his image in the arm wrestling community i think for sure why again going back to that oath of never losing a single round to protect that he did not return to the table armes gasparini deserved that moment he he and everyone else believed that he would have pinned levan if he got that stop once again so armes was kind of robbed of that moment not the first time it is happening like gabby quit against sara after 4-0 she wasn't injured or anything she was just gassed out she quit why didn't nobody call him call her out because she had never said that she is not going to lose a single round it it was a main thing the oath was the main thing that is kind of working against levan now and he couldn't fulfill fulfill that he lost that match another point is people were saying that devon tore his bicep literally tore his bicep couldn't do anything still kept going for six rounds why couldn't levan do that vitali lalatin was taken out in an ambulance but he did not quit even till the last moment dave chafee had to press him down to the pad and vitali almost passed out there so didn't quit didn't quit because he was losing there was an opportunity to win if vitali had won 4-0 and he was in a similar situation where he is about to pass out in that situation just same situation as dave chafee dave chafee match i think he would have also quit so it is not that bad when, when i got emotional when i recorded the first video but when i think about it i think there are many arm wrestlers first of all devon wouldn't have done that devon wouldn't have done that i personally i may not look li- like that warrior type to you but i wouldn't have done that what is the perfect situation if levan just stood up went to the table and either went again 100% gave everything he had that would have been the ideal situation but if levan felt there is a risk in doing that then he could have applied maybe 50 40% or just laid down and let ermes have the moment that he deserved that would have been the emotionally correct decision professionally correct decision no professionally levan already did everything perfectly he is the one true king but that shows something about heart man maybe devan was right about levan not having a warrior's heart not having that big of a heart because technically yes he did quit he did quit in front of ermes and stakings people were betting money on levan winning 6-0 and it is not something that devon is doing against the will of arm wrestlers he must have asked levan levan was also going to get a cut from that so people's money was on levan again actually and he just simply quit because he was having breathing problems and because add on top of that he didn't want to get pinned by armes gasparini these are the only two reasons so levan kind of kind of betrayed word would sound weird and kind of abusive in this situation but yeah they 
he cost him that money and, and kind of almost almost kind of intentionally not saying that they would have won any money if levan just laid down but i guess people wouldn't have been that mad then so once again ermes gasperini has gained a ton of respect even if now even now if there is someone who doesn't respect ermes gasperini that may have some serious hatred towards that guy because till 2019 when ermes lost to matt mask can you imagine from losing to matt mask to almost beating levan sagan actually it was not almost beating but almost giving him a extremely close match it was considered if ermes goes from here to here he has nothing left and now he's arm wrestling here without a wrist that is some real real stuff rematch i think the promoters are already messaging these two guys we want rematch good money will be thrown ermes will prepare more ermes is only 29 years old he's young and he's new at this weight there is absolutely no way that he's not going to gain a lot in the future when he becomes more stable more quality my friend no fat only quality then ermes will be something different tell me your thoughts because about this match because levan sagan actually is for sure going to lose a lot of credibility again still the champion did not do anything against the rules but that level of warrior's respect just go out win or die on your shield come back on your shield do not quit that warrior's respect i i think levan is going to lose a lot of that after this match once again your your thought is important what do you think about this this situation where are you standing levan did the right thing or he did the wrong thing or he did somewhat in between thanks for watching like the video and subscribing is also important bye